Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So on this video today, we're going to do another one of the top tens lists. Um, this one took me a little bit of work to put together. It, it was quite difficult. Several different uh, versions that I've put together and I finally come to one. So, hey guys, let's grab that cup of coffee and we'll have that discussion. So before we start this top tens list, um, I just want to say to you guys, uh, A, the 21st of December at 8 p.m. will be our live stream event. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you like this kind of content, this is the time to do it. Um, real quick, one other thing for you guys, if you haven't checked out our social media page, uh, we have two on Facebook and an Instagram account, please check those out. But um, otherwise, let's go ahead and get this started. But before we do, there's a couple things I need to do. All right, guys, time to do top 10 case tractors. Number 10. Case VAC. The Case VAC was built from 1942 to 1955. It had a 2.0 liter gas engine and it was a 19 horsepower tractor. Uh, one of the reasons I placed this on the list is this was Case's attempt at a small tractor. Um, prior to this, they had the V and just the regular V and the or, or, or VA, uh, I, yeah, I believe so. And they were great little tractors, and this is just the invariant next one up. Um, I, earlier, Case got into the one horse farm kind of uh, tractor with the RC, and the RC is a great tractor, and it's a great looking little tractor, but it wasn't very good for to getting the uh, the farmer that just was farming with one horses or two horses to switch over to tractors and this was their next step with the V and then the VAC. The VAC came in so many different variants. You had you had just the regular V, you had a VI, you had a VAH, you had a v, there was a VA14, 13, and they, they just changed them up through the years. It's also the tractor that Case introduced Eagle Hitch on and I believe 50 Two, it came out on the on the uh, VAC, and then in '53 it was offered on the DC and the SC tractors. Uh, it's one of my favorite little tractors. I've had more of these than you can count. At one time, I had 15 of them all at once. Uh, most of them were part tractors, but I had they were everywhere, just like you know cockroaches. But uh, they were my favorite little tractor. Uh, they're fun to drive. They're handy little things to to, to have around. And I really enjoy, um, I really enjoyed operating them in the past. So that is why I placed it here on the list. Number nine, Case 1200. The Case 1200 was built from 1966 to 1969. It had a 7.4 six-cylinder diesel engine in it. It was a 120 horsepower tractor. Uh, Case came out with the 1200 uh, kind of towards the mid of the uh, of the 30 series. Uh, this was their attempt to get into the uh, big four-wheel drive tractors. It was just a great big four-wheel square. It really is a um, crab steer tractor. So instead of like a lot of the like the like the staggereds or the uh, versatiles early ones that pivoted in the middle the the wheels just turn they're really fun to drive you can get them and get that crab steer kink just right and you can actually drive sideways across the yard which i have in uh before um 
I have never had the opportunity to op operate one of these. I've always wanted to. I've seen them at shows. I've had one at one time that was a parts tractor. It was pretty much stripped. The axles were out. The motor was pulled apart and stuff. And it actually ended up to a friend of mine in Montana who was a collector, bought the remnants of it from me. I never, I never even had to move it from where I bought it from. But they are definitely one of my most, one of my favorite tractors at Case Field. And I think one of the best looking, one of the nicer looking ones and I think it would be a blast to operate so that's why I placed it here on the list number eight case 300 the case 300 was built from 1956 to 1958 it came with the option of a 2.6 liter diesel engine putting out 27 horsepower or a 2.4 liter gas engine putting out 38 horsepower. Um, the main reason that I picked this tractor for this point on the list is this is the best, one of the be I think it is the best looking tractor that Case ever produced. It has the bullet grill with those side shields on it and it's just a really streamlined wrapped around looking tractor. It, it came in several different variants. You had a row crop, you had an adjustable front end, you had an industrial, you had like a Wheatland version. Um, if you've ever watched Lassie, there's an episode of Lassie that they have this tractor in. And when I was a boy, um, I went to an auction with my granddad and there was one of these on there and it, it was, I mean, it was like a time capsule. The, the, it was bought new and had barely been used and been sitting in a barn for years. And I begged and begged and begged and begged my, my granddad to bid on that tractor first. And I don't think it brought very much back then, but uh, I think that's kind of one of my, my first exposure to one of these tractors. And I have, I have just loved the look of them ever since. And I've always kind of I've wanted one for my private collection, which I've never, I've never been able to, to find one to, yet, but you know, so those, they're, like I said, they're just one of the best looking case tractors out there. And that's why I've placed it here on the list. Number seven, Case 600. The Case 600 was built in 1957. It came either in a diesel 6.2 liter diesel engine or it also came in, a, in an LP gas version, but I cannot find the exact uh, size of the motor of the, of the LP. Um, it was 61 horses, and it's the rarest tractor that I put on this list. If uh, the two places that I checked for production numbers gave me around 1,500 total made, um, and there was more of the, uh, the diesel version made than the propane version, but uh, it's, it's, one of my favorite it's definitely one of the best looking case tractors it was shortly built um the little toy here is of one and this is when case was putting the emblem the round case emblem on the front of the tractor and stuff you know they're just good little they're just a, a plow horse they really they're you know they're the step up from the 500 which was a step up from the la and it's just you know that transition of better and better tractor as time goes by i have never had the opportunity to to operate one of these i have seen them one at a show and i know where there is a propane version sitting in the tree row. I have actually talked to the guy many times about trying to purchase the tractor and the last time I was chased off with a shotgun. So I will just probably have to wait until unfortunately he passes away to have a chance of purchasing that tractor. But that is, you know, they're just, one, again, one of my favorite case tractors and one of that's on my bucket list to own someday. And that's why I placed it where I have on the list. Number six, Case 1070. The Case 1070 was built from 1970 to 1978. It had a 7.4 liter, six cylinder diesel engine in it and it was a 90 horsepower tractor. The reason I picked this on the list on the list out of all the tractors case was building in the 70s i think the 1070 was probably the best um, you're it's amazing how how many of those are still on the farm still being used as the daily uh 
power supply for whatever the farm needs. Um, they're a really well-built tractor. Um, that that six-cylinder diesel, again, that case diesel is a beast, and it, it, it'll run forever if you take care of it. I've run one of these. I have a friend that that uses that still uses it as their main main tractor on the farm they have a couple newer ones but that they, they run the 1070 probably more than they run anything else and they're just all around a good solid uh horse so you know horsepower supply and they're easy to operate and case was really getting things together um at this they really had things together at this point in time and that's why i've placed it here on the list Number five, Case 2090. The Case 2090 was built from 1979 to 1983, just right to the point where the uh, where International and Case became one company. It has an 8.3 liter, six cylinder diesel engine, putting out 93 horsepower. Um, I picked this tractor because again, this tractor, even as being as old as it is, is still on the farm. It's still being used. Um, I come across these all the time at farm sales and stuff and they bring good money yet. Um, I've had a couple on the lot and they've sold well for me for good uh, and good money. Um, I've run one uh, just a little bit, was a fine, it was, you know good tractor to operate everything is in 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 where you need it nothing is is struggled to get to um the three point pto you have you have the 540 and the thousand rpm pto back there you got you got three point you got power steering you got lights you got air ac cab radio everything that you would expect and a modern tractor you can still get into that tractor not saying that's any different from a lot of other tractors of this era but it is definitely um a good uh all around good machine uh but um you know i've 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 really enjoyed my chance and operation of, of using that tractor and that's why i placed it where i have on the list number four case c case c was built from 1929 to 1939 it had a 4.3 liter gas engine four cylinder it was a 30 horsepower tractor give or take a little bit um i picked this because i've owned a couple and i have one and it's one of my favorite tractors they're very short they are a very short stocky little tractor um it's the same motor that you find in the ddc um you know it's solid gas engine big four-cylinder case motor um, highly powerful uh, motor they're fun for tractor pulls but when you find one of these one of the earlier ones the and it's on steel I just don't think there's a better looking tractor out there when it comes to being on steel wheels um, you know these these put a lot of horses on the unemployment line in, in the 30s and stuff every time you watch an old uh old film from the dust bowl there's a case c in it somewhere it's probably a cc which is the row crop version of this tractor but there there's a case c in the video and it's definitely it, it definitely deserves its place here on the list of one of my one of the one of the best um case tractors and that's why i've placed it here on the list number three case 930 the case 930 was built from 1960 to 1969 you either had the choice of a 6.6 .6 liter diesel engine or a 6.2 liter gas slash lp motor either or it was an 80 horsepower tractor and I picked this thing on the list because where I'm from, the 930 is probably one of the most popular tractors. You get out in western Kansas and you would find farms in the 60 and the 60s that were running f five, six, seven, eight of these things. I've probably owned 60 of them in the past few years. Um, I've I've probably sent. 
20 of those to my buddy in Wisconsin who collects them and he has a hundred and some of them on there all restored um, they are a high quality workhorse um, you get that 401 diesel in them that motor will run forever you take proper care of that thing and you make sure it has uh, clean oil when it's time and you keep that air filter oil bath air filter working properly that motor will drag whatever you need to drag across the field over and over again for the forever i know of one that was bought in 72 as a used tractor and it still today runs all summer long running a uh, a uh, irrigation system non-stop all summer it, it, it just you know i don't even want to imagine how many hours is on that motor um i think the 930 was the the 1030 is great but i think the 930 for for its period of time was one of is one of the best tractors case ever built um you know there's there's different like case was really big on uh, calling different tractors different models but you have the 930 or the 931 all that means is uh, different fuels or row crop or the front end style but really the base tractor is still a 930 and again I placed it here on the list because it is one of the best case tractors number two case 500 diesel the Case 500 diesel was built from 53 to 56. It had a 6.2 liter, six cylinder diesel engine putting out 55 horses. Now I'll be honest with you guys, the only reason I put this one on the list, where I put it on the list, is because it is one of my personal favorite tractors. I have not owned one. I want to own one. It's been on my bucket list since I was 10 or 15 years old I have gone to many sales trying to purchase one and at all all every single time I've been outbidded I just haven't been able to to purchase a tractor um, they all brought way way more money than I was able or willing to give for them at the time a couple of them willing to give for them because they were in pretty rough shape but um, you know this was case's first diesel tractor this is they were you know international came out with their first diesel in the 30s and case was running a little bit behind on this um, by this point they're owned by tentaco and they're getting into uh, the case the tractors were really kind of they were changing this is you know this is just really basically a diesel la is really what it is it's uh, the rear end is the same as an la i've actually seen ones where people have put an la rear end on on a 500 because they burned up that that the original uh original engine or original transmission and stuff but really like i said the only reason this is on the list where it is is because it is personally my most or one of my favorite case tractors and that's why i placed it here on the list number one case 900 the case 900 was built from 1957 to 1959 it had a six cylinder uh 6.2 liter diesel engine it's putting out 70 horsepower and you had a 6.2 liter six cylinder lp gas engine um this is my absolute most favorite case tractor i have owned probably about 12 of these i have one that is my absolute favorite that has a mead cab on it just something about being on one of these 900s out in the field the sound of that uh, uh, chain driven transmission underneath you especially in that one in that cab because it echoes that it makes it just extremely loud but um, I absolutely love these tractors I I can honestly not tell you why there's just something about a case 900 that just absolutely 
is the most joyful thing in the world for me to run and operate and they're one of the uh just one of the best built case tractors now you know it case started with the la and i love the la i've had a couple um then the 500 diesel come along and we've discussed that one already the 900 was the next step up and i think they hit the nail on the head when they built that 900 that just just the way that tractor runs is operated it's power steering that diesel engine uh it, it does does great it's i've done awesome with my antique tractor pulls with my 900s and then you go into the 930s and you crawl on up from there so but i did I, I'm just I'm so much in love with this tractor that I'm having a hard time saying why this tractor is so great so I'm just gonna put it at this way guys the case 900 is the best of all the case tractors and that's why I've placed it number one on this list